Hey guys, what's up? This is Luis Utrieta here. Today I'm going to show you um, Matchbox Working Rigs. I already unboxed it. I already unboxed it. In the essence of time, we won't unbox it yet. We're not going to unbox it. <clears throat> but here you guys have the Matchbox Working Rigs um, International Workstar. Um box van um, this looks like a moving truck so let's show you guys um, I already took off the the cardboard you just take it off box goes away goes away not needed so here you guys have it let's point out some details here up front you do got Great headlights. Um, this is all. Um, I think this is all LED, or is it just normal bulbs? You got your international logo there. I am gonna zonk the hood though, and the only reason I wish it would open. I wish this hood could have opened. This opened. Even the doors, they're just fake elements. Um, you have your windshield here. None of this is functional. It's just for aesthetic looks. That is kind of a missed opportunity. Knock, knock, who's there? That is <clears throat> a double zonk because matchbox didn't take the time to do um painted clearance lights and that to me is a missed opportunity by matchbox <clears throat> so look at the hood bulge man they took time to mold this in <clears throat> excuse me right here to make it a an actual hood bulge and look at those fenders here look at that look at that vent it says work star there and feast your eyes on these bad boy of of tires and look at that the Alcoa Durabrites they are durable. Now this little glass portion, I wish they could have could have I wish they could have taken that off. So I'm only gonna half zonk it. Only because it's so small, minor detail. And look at that door handle like I've said they, they are fake doors right here and look at the and look at the they took the time and actually added steps look at that and look at that fuel tank man and feast your eyes on these on this heavy duty box it's got the DOT striping. You've got your painted reflectors right there. Look at that. Matchbox Speedy Express. Matchbox Speedy Express. Um, this to me reminds me of a Penske truck or U-Haul truck and look at those tires right here they're not rubber but hey it doesn't have to be perfect now coming towards the back here like I've already said I'm zonking the lack of clearance lights I wish they could have added some detail there 
and the lack of lights there. I just think Matchbox kind of cheaped out to um, make this work. Uh, you've got your opening doors. You've got your working doors. Look at that. At first I thought it's eh, it's gonna be plastic, but nope, it's metal. Look at that. It's got um plastic doors. You've got the whole box is plastic. Even this is plastic. The only metal is right here. That's going to be a major zonk right there. I wish they could have made this all metal and kind of painted. This could have been painted gray. Now, on the undercarriage, look at that. Made in Thailand. You've got your three screws. That that battery box, that toolbox has got to go. I'm not loving this design, <clears throat> but look at that. Even even the frame is die cast right here, but the base is just metal. Look at that. So, in conclusion, this is a Matchbox Working Rigs International Workstar. Boy, did Matchbox do the business, the business, when it comes to, to a new tooling of this beast of a truck. Now, is it perfect? No. There really is no perfect model company, <clears throat> toy company, who builds perfect toys. Because who gives a who gives a disciple about having perfect models? That's for boring people. Let me know what you guys think. Is it the best one to get? Well, you better bet your bottom dollars. If it's trucks like these that you want to see on the channel, let me know in the comments box below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, share this video, and hit the notification bell. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video review.